See? Psalm 145, verse 18. And Yahweh Yahweh Shah is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. And he said, this is that's why we gotta seek him, while you may be fine, so we can get the truth. And Great Millstone been grinding down this bullshit, right? To so you can see what, what it's worth. Great Millstone been grinding down the lies. Great Millstone has been grinding um to the finest so you can see what it's really truly worth, man. With humility, man. Cause they the they they the they the ones that the Lord gave it to. You know? It's been revealed to us. It truly has. It's a lot here, man. I was thinking about this. I want to read this verse because. This truly is, these people are jealous, man. I'm telling you, man. They they read this book because I was watching it. Yeah, I remember um, another video that startled me. Like, I was like, man, this motherfucker really be sitting here analyzing. What is he truly analyzing? Yo, a person go home and, hey. I'm going to say this too, right? Because we should do the same thing. We should go home and explain to our children about their enemies. You know, we should go home and say, listen, this is happening around you. This is happening. It shouldn't be no lolly. It shouldn't be no, um, no sitting around a fire and having cocoa and talking bullshit to your kids. You got to prepare them mentally. Tell them who their enemies is. Tell them why this is happening. Especially young men. If y'all brothers out there got young men and your, your um your sons, you could explain to your sons that listen, these people are if you're not if you're out in the world you don't know what's going on, these people are the ones that's making these orchestrating these things to happen. You have to be mindful of these things. Because the scripture speaks about speaking, telling your son the, the Lord's statue of commandments. And, and David always spoke about um, his enemies. These scriptures is for our learning. So, like, I'm all over the place. I'm trying to narrow this down, but I'm um, just having a conversation. Because there's a lot to it, man. There's uh, so much on the table that, you know, the two thirds ain't even looking at the table. You know, the apostles grind it down, smooth, show you all this, this, this. Look what's going on over here. Look what's going on over here. That's why he said be circumspect. Watch the news. Um, be in, be um, uh, measure the time. That's what you're doing. Like, all this measurement, all this stuff is on the table to show you what's going on. It's like our, it's like our, 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 our um, plaques and our um, pictures we have out. We laying it out for you. And if you see this, you see this happen, like, for example, the slavery, um, this, um, people putting out people in slavery, this, that, you know, Esau running down on us, hanging us, lynching us. Put to lay that out. And remember it. We are to remember what our enemies done to us. So it might be it might be harsh, you know, because it was when we heard it, it was it was harsh. Oh man! Now what are we gonna do after we heard it? Now we gotta seek the Lord ten times more and fear and trouble. You know, we gotta we gotta we gotta um pay, be mindful of everything that's going around us, and the Lord will guide you, and you gotta fast and pray. You know. And hope that 
all this land that they buying up that they don't trap they don't they're not gonna trap the whole full off but we gotta hope and pray that we are the whole full act that's what the mercy and abundantly um pardon pardon the long gone pardon knows that that he, he so dearly love and look at this look, look right here it says it i was thinking about this verse this is deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 7 for what for what nation it says there's no essence in that it's not saying what nations for what nation is so great who had yahweh yahweh shah so nigh unto him so that yahweh yahweh shah our power is in all things that we call un, upon un, upon him for he's in all things so like i said even these things that's happening The Lord is, is orchestrating it. But we have to be mindful that the reason why he's orchestrating is because he's about to make something we're going to wreak havoc on those that don't want to fear him. Okay. You know? We have to think about that. And what nation is so great that has statutes and judgment so righteous as all these laws which are set before you this day. No nation. No nation got what we got, man. They, he, he didn't give it to them. But we're going to be the ones that are going to give it to them. He's going to give it. He's going he's gonna to download it back into us. I brought this out one of those men. And we're going to govern the earth. See, they, they didn't govern righteousness, man. I'm telling you, man, these people are so fucking wicked, bro. Like, 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 man, I'm just like, I was just, the lady said, she's like, oh, dog, these rich people are just coming over here and just buying all the land up, right? She was Jake. And, and we over here sweeping the floors and we can't even get, we got the money, but they don't want to sell us the land because it wasn't for you to buy it. America's a great big prison. See, this was, this was going on back when, the, when our brothers was out here. The native brothers, our native brothers, um, when they was on the land, and America just come and say, I, it was some uh, uh, Indians say, say, hey, who goes around buying land? You know? Who said this land is yours? Signing paper. Why are we signing paper? You see, it's all about legislation. It's all about signing documents. So nobody can't say nothing. See, look, look. And then the government, they make these, these judges. Everything is set up in place. See, all the presidents, they all down with the same agenda. No one gets in that office and do what they want. When they do, they end up like a Kennedy. When they do, they end up like a Lincoln. As you can see, motherfuckers backed up as it certain happened to certain presidents. You know? You gotta be mindful of that. Because, uh, Yahweh Shemel Shah is, um, about to take his earth back, but he's gonna, he's gonna have to put, he's gonna have to put some serious fear, basically, on the whole full elect. On the elect. That fear gotta grow. That, that, what's about to happen is truly about the elect being saved. Scarcely saved. So you could never forget that was about to happen. You're gonna be always reminded when you look at the soldiers of America when it's obliterated. Alright, so lock yeah. Um, Isaiah chapter 12 verse 6 Cry out And shout Thou inhabitant of Zion For great is the Holy One Of Israel In the midst of thee Yeah, great is Yahweh man 
The Holy One, man. Yeah, how about you, Shah? Because I will tell you, man, there's no way of getting out of this. Because Yahweh's not going to come down and say, hey, you know what, I'm going to come down there and get my people. No, he's going to send his team. And his team, the head of his team is Yahweh Shah. And like I said, um, a brother said this too the other day. He's like, um, when you see a chariot, he um, puts prayers up quick. Because those prayers, those chariots are catching prayers. So you got shot, cry out, you know, and tell the Lord, Salak, yeah, you know, but protect me, you know, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Kusha, you don't have mercy, you know, because you know, we're going to need it. We're going to fucking need it. That motherfucker Bill Gates, bro, that motherfucker look like he about to eat people up. He going to just catch them and eat them like they Hey, you know, a lot of movies was out about, like, the New World Order, right? And, um... They was like, oh, they have the big screen. It's so much. I'm trying to explain it. How, and now there'll be certain movies I've been watching. And they be like, oh, you're all going to listen to us. Like the Hunger Game. Oh, I was. I started watching the, um, uh, what's that called? The 3%. And then going into the, it, it, because they probably want you. They're probably coming over there to get you, to eat you. Sacrifice you. You know, they go into the old, the poverty land, poor land, and they, they, they recruit people, bring them through this, this run through the ringer, and then if they make it, if they make it to the other side, you don't know what the hell they're going to do to you on the other side. I didn't finish watching a lot. I watched it to like episode four, but it's always about like the Hunger Games. It's always about going through a procedure, see how much you can take, because they love, they got so much money, and they don't give a fuck about having sex no more. Now they want they want to see um, terrible things happen to people. Just like um, what's that other show? Um, it's another movie, another series I was watching, and um, it's the same thing. They, and, cause this land thing is telling me this man they buy it, but I rather desire the Lord don't let all this stuff um, go on for too long. Like that'd be crazy, like. We need mercy, man. We need mercy. Oh, boy, just thought about it. a whole bunch of things went through my head right now. So, like, I want to go back here because Isaiah chapter chapter fifty five verse six. Seek ye Lord, why seek ye Yahweh Shemshah, why he may be found? Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways. And the unrighteous, the unrighteous man, his thoughts. Yeah, so the Lord speaking, this is about us. We're not the wicked, wicked. We just doing wicked shit. So you got to forsake your ways. He said, no, let the wicked forsake his ways. And the, unright the unrighteous man, his thoughts. And let him return. Because you can't, you only way you can return if you was dead before already, before. So, Esau ain't returning to nobody. That's why they're going out there buying land, man. They ain't got nothing to return to. I'm telling you, that guy BG be reading a lot of books, man. He read, he read the Bible back before. He know that shit. He know our scriptures, man. He know he ain't got a chance. That's why they got to go hide in the woods. But they don't understand. You can't hide from the chariots. The eyes of the Lord is upon the sinful kingdom. You can't hide, man. That's why we're getting trapped off, because we can't know where to hide. But the Lord is going to righteously, the righteous is right, I mean, um, the righteous is scarcely, scarcely.